My high range pH, it's hard to tell, is sitting at about 8.2. My ammonia is 0 0.25 and my nitrites are 0 0.5. My nitrates are low, sitting at about 5, the same as it was yesterday. Mo is doing really well. All of his holes are closing up. I'm not sure what those white dots are. I have a feeling they're little bits of salt. I'm hoping that's okay. And then we have Luigi. Good morning, Luigi. Who also has those white dots. Hoping they're not heavy grains of salt and going to affect them. There you are, Mo. Looking good. I still can't believe how well Mo is healing. Remember, two days ago, Mo was sitting on the bottom of the tank, had numerous gaping holes, pretty shrunk, and now he appears to be healing. Jellies are still doing good, and I am about ready to test the water. I don't even know what to say. My water is just bad. My uh, high range pH looks good, as you can see. It's probably between an 8.2 and an 8.4. My ammonia is really between 0.25 and 0.5. My nitrates, you know, sitting at about 10 which is okay, but my nitrites, wow. Can you see this? I'm not even sure if it's at five or if it's at one, probably one. But still, I am not happy with this number at all. So we're setting up our Timia brine shrimp patchery. We just got it. And we're putting in a half a liter of water to the fill line. As I was told, there's a fill line, which is right there. Although, nope, can't be. So I just got a lesson in science and we added it to the fill line. And notice the fill basket is submerged. Here are our eggs. See how cute our little babies. So I'm going to take one cup, one itty bitty little cup, because I only have three itty bitty little moonfish, jellyfish. I need a container for this because I don't like this. So I'm gonna do like a level. See, my little cup. And I'm gonna very carefully along the outer edge. Ooh, ooh. Disperse it, I'm not really the best at this. But I'm gonna get there. And supposedly, hatch babies, hatch babies. That's a lot of, that's a lot in there. But, not all the babies, I won't be calling them babies for long because they're food. Not all the, they're kind of sad. Not all the brine fish or shrimp or whatever they are, the little brine shrimp. This is just for us, by the way, this will never see YouTube. <laughs> um, aren't gonna hatch. And this is so freaking cool. Okay, so there we go, one scoop. Go look at the scoop. Isn't that the coolest you've ever seen in your entire life? <laughs> it's like the clip okay so what happens is as you can see all these little eggs are there when they hatch start hatching in 24 hours they're gonna have to swim because they're gonna want the light and when you cover it they have no light so they're gonna swim to the light and they're gonna go in here and then what we're gonna do I don't like that there's some eggs over there should I clean them out? 
Okay. Next time I'll be much neater. I'm very excited that we're... I like, feel like I'm learning biologist. Okay. And I can say that because this will never go on YouTube. Thank you very much, Doug. Have a good day. It has been one week today since we had crisis in our tank. Water levels are doing really well. My biggest right now is just nitrites at 1.0, but definitely manageable. The other guys are at the top of the tank, and I am going to give them a feeding of live baby brine. Well, Mo is the only one who's really interested in eating right now. As you can see, there are a bunch of baby brine swimming around Mo. Come on, Mo. Come on. This is Mo. Having a field day.